Our next project will be to punch down wires on a 110 block. The 110 block is a bit different because the 110 block does not have its own insulation displacement connectors. It's merely a plastic facilitator for the connection. You can see that the 110 block itself has areas in which we punch the cables down and then we attach to it a connection block. It's the connection block itself that has the insulation displacement connectors in it. The metal parts in here are what strip the uh, wire down to the copper and make the connection. So it's the connection block that we're going to use. The process is to bring the Category 5 cable in, take off less than a couple inches of jacket, maintain the twists within a half an inch of the punch downs, put a connecting block on, and then put another cable punch down on top. And that's what we're going to do next. Here's our 110 block, and here's our Category 5 cable. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the cables in and we're going to terminate them on this block and then attach the connecting block. Again, we're going to follow the conventions of blue, orange, green, brown. But you notice we have these tightly twisted cables, so we have to untwist them. And the easiest way to do it is usually with a simple screwdriver. Just work the screwdriver in between the pairs, pull them out. That way you don't disturb the twists, leave about an inch or so twisted outside the jacket. At this point you can notice something else, and that is that the twists are actually different on each pair. It's that difference in the twists that actually gives it its performance for crosstalk, because the different rates of twist mean that it's not going to couple from one to the other. So here we are, and we're going to start here and work our way up with the same blog system. So there's white, blue, and blue. We've pulled the cables through. See how closely we've kept the twists. And now we take our 110 blade on the cut, put the cut to the outside, and we punch down that pair. Next comes white orange and orange. And with Category 5, it appears to be easier to work pair by pair. Making sure that you keep the twists as close as possible. Next, green. So it's white, green, green. And finally, white, brown, brown. Notice we didn't need to untwist the green and brown as much because we're going further down the center of the 110 block. So there we go. Our color coding, our pairs, our twists are kept very, very close. And now we're ready for the connecting block. Here's our connecting block. And you can see, if you look at the bottom, you can see the metal insulation displacement contacts. This is what actually slices into the insulation of the wire and makes the contacts. And it continues up to the top of the block where we'll punch down the second cable. You can see that it's color coded. So there's blue, orange, green, brown to give us the color coding for the second cable. The way we install this is it fits right onto the 110 block. And then we can start pushing it down with our hands. 
and then use the punch down tool to help seat it. There's our connecting block. Now let's finish our Category 5 termination. We have another piece of Category 5 cable. We'll remove the jacket, separate our pairs. Again, remembering our color code, blog, blue, orange, green, and brown. Now it's easier on the top of the punch down because it's color coded for us. So again, let's separate our wires. And we're going to be coming in from the right here. So the blue will go the farthest so we need to untwist it the most and slightly less as we go back. Okay, bring our cable in. This time we're going to start with the brown because it's the first one closest to the cable. Let's untwist. Not too much. And our last pair then is white, brown, brown. Next is green and white green. Make sure you get them in the right slots. Sometimes it's a little hard to cut on the connecting blocks, so you can punch it down twice. It also will make sure you get a good connection. And there we are. Here's our incoming cable and our outgoing cable. And the cables are all neatly dressed down the center of the 110 block. So now we're ready to go do our patch panels and our work area outlets.